What's good, Breakers, and welcome to Breaking Bad Nick. This week it's Sonic's birthday, and Speedsum of course did not miss the memo, with a giant event where you can unlock two previously highly sought after skins you may have missed in their own reruns, as well as the brand new edition of the Sonic Frontiers Anniversary DLC outfit, complete with Sonic's brand new set of animations, as well as a few more surprises here and there. Without any further ado, let's take a look. Kicking things off the way we always do, with the Robux store. And I mean, it sure is. I don't know, not much I can say about it. Classics and Werehog might as well be permanent at this point, and I get they're making it all Sonic and Shadow themed and that's cute and all, but the lack of any real variety is honestly just kind of boring. I feel like I'm looking at Chapter 1 Fortnite item shop more than anything. Race Store, however, despite just being Sonic and Shadow again, at least has something more interesting going on, as these are brand new skins. Race Suit Sonic and Shadow join the long-running gold-style series of characters with this debut, and I think they look super cool. I don't know how controversial it is to say the gold styles were always kind of cool, but the gold styles were always kind of cool. Despite the disappointment I've had with the Robux store, the Race Store at least softened the blow a little bit for me. Now onto the main event, or rather, events, as Birthday King Sonic and Royal King Shadow get full event reruns here, just in case you missed out on these skins. The fireworks RB even returns, this time in Emerald Hill, and it's a surprise addition seeing as this thing has been missing since pre-reborn. It's just a shame that these cool additions are bogged down by possibly one of the worst decisions this game has seen. Look, I don't often like focusing on negatives in these reviews, I love this game, and I want to at least focus on the parts I enjoyed more than give review bombs purely due to some tedium or an event being too short. However, and I know this is a family friendly channel, but you're gonna have to permit me my one PG-13 mandated swear word here. What the fuck were they thinking with this one? For three of the five notches of the pass, you get to set off 2,000 fireworks in Green Hill, Emerald Hill, and City Escape. I take no issue with this. Event enchant can affect it, and it's basically the same as the balloons during the movie event. It's a little bit tedious, but it's not enough to care. It takes 10 minutes at most, and at times can take you to places in the world you otherwise wouldn't have thought to go. And with the fireworks obby being added back, one of these notches is now easier than ever. If the event was just these, I still would have said it was tedious, but I would have been happy dropping a 4 out of 5 on the event because it's not too bad, and I love the Frontiers Anniversary DLC skin you get at the end. And the new Sonic X Shadow themed hoverboard is really cool. However, the remaining two notches require you to beat Birthday King Sonic and Royal King Shadow's reruns. Not just have the skins or do some tasks, the entire event pass. Basically meaning this event is cramming three weeks worth of content into one. I notice next to no changes on these rerun passes either, meaning for people like me who have already completed these passes, you're actively punishing us for being early adopters of the game by forcing us to redo content for duplicate rewards, effectively wasting our time entirely. For newer players or ones who miss these events, I'm sure these reruns are ideal, and I'm not knocking the possibility that this event can be enjoyed by those sorts of players, but for people like me, and I know a pretty decent chunk of the speedsome community too, this feels like a slap in the face for even wanting to keep up with the game and its events. Why make reruns mandatory? Reruns should be reserved for optional bonuses or filler weeks, much like the Crow Metal Sonic rerun happening right now. Or at the very least, a decent amount of new content should be added such as a new chow or an update to a skin to make the rerun worth it to those who have bought in early. You don't however want to mandate the reruns for said people who bought in early, as it sours the end result of this event pass as a whole, knowing that most of my time unlocking this skin was quite literally a waste beyond disappointed with this one. Really hope we never have to see anything like this again moving forward. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, I didn't like this week's event at all, and it overall soured what could have been a cool celebration for these skins. Whilst the new gold styles are fun, and new the new skin is neat, and the day and night cycle gives us a chance to view iconic locations in quite literally a new light, the actual gameplay of this event being such a buzzkill sours the content you were awarded for for engaging with it. It's a one out of five. Harsh? You be the judge in the comments, but I'm not budging on this. I am extremely disappointed with this update. And that wraps up my thoughts on this week's event. What do you think, however? Let me know in the comments. While you're in the area, check out all my art content on my Twitter and Instagram linked in the description. And like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I upload Sonic Roblox and Sonic Mobile content multiple times a week. You won't want to miss it. My name is Raz, thank you so much for watching, and keep breaking bad necks.